Hello everyone, welcome to day two of our We Rule the School video hop. Day two is going to feature layouts for a middle school and junior high. I'm going to be working with the Simple Stories School Life uh, collection. This is probably one of my very favorite themed school collections. I tend to not go for themed products, but this one is awesome. It's perfect. I really do love it. There's another one by Ford Photoplay that I also really love. I think I'm going to use that one tomorrow for day three. So today's layout features a design that uh, is new to me. This isn't a design I've tried before. It's a little bit of a funky take on a little bit of color blocking. And uh, I love how it turned out. I think it turned out so cute. So in full disclosure, my photos today are not from my son in middle school. I actually didn't have any middle school or junior high photos in my school. School, uh, to be scrapbooked folder I uh, apparently have done both of my boys all of my boys school photos from those years which is awesome go me um so instead I decided to choose photos that told a story a story that I am sure we all experienced in 2020 um and that is the story of all of the tech issues that occurred during that year. So for those that don't know, I am a homeschooling mother. I homeschooled both of my children from probably first, second grade on up. I have gotten one completely through high school and graduated, and my youngest is a senior this year. And I have never had more tech problems than I had <laughs> in 2020. <laughs> oh my goodness. We usually, we cyber school, so I like the cyber school option for homeschooling because it gives me a person and a school and a place to get help when we need it. And I think that that's really important to have that little bit of extra community and support that a cyber school provides. So that is what we do. But for whatever reason, and maybe it was just because everybody was in cyber school <laughs> um, at the beginning of the school year in 2020, uh, that we had so many tech issues, like so many tech issues. So that's what I'm going to document today. So today's layout features two photos that are not the best, but they tell the story. And I want to have lots of journaling space. So you saw me, I cut down these two pattern papers. I cut them, they are 11 and 3 quarters inches by five and three quarter inches. And then I adhered them to a black pattern paper. So I kind of split my 12 by 12 layout in half. And then my plan is to put one of the photos towards the bottom and one of the photos towards the top. I'm matting them both on uh, just some neutral colored. It's uh, the paper's kind of a cork paper. So I'm gonna put one photo at the top left and one photo at the bottom right. And then on the left side of my photo, or the left side of my page, I'm going to place um, a lot of journaling. I have a lot of things to say about the tech issues and uh, the beginning of this 2020 school year. Because it was a beast, let me just tell you. So I have one side here that's going to be my journaling. I have already cut these two pieces. So I have a tag and I have one of the larger journaling boxes. All of my paper layers I am inking up using a Distress Oxide in Hickory Smoke. I am going to grab some hemp cord. This is my favorite hemp cord. I just buy it at a cherry on top. And the only thing you need to know about it that's special is that in the search, bar at a cherry on top, type in hemp cord. Don't type in twine. <laughs> and that's how you find it. I love it. It's neutral. It's perfect for 
every tag on the planet, every tag, you can put this lovely hemp twine in. I am going to overlap my tag and this little kind of journaling spot. And then I'm going to use my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. I'm going to draw some little glue lines for my hemp cord to follow. And then I have these like fun kind of twirly uh, cord at the top of my tag. And then I just let it sit there until it dries a little bit. And then I snip off the edges, the ends, and that's it. We're done. So now I have the journaling, which is good. I am going to put a little bit of the, um, embellishment at the bottom of my journaling spot, but I have lots of room here to wax poetic about the hot mess that was technology in 2020. Next up, I want to add a little bit more pattern to the left side of my page. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a couple of the pattern papers from the six by eight paper pad, and I'm just going to create three strips or blocks that will add some more color and a little bit more interest to the left side of the page. I'm trimming them down so that they are five and three quarters in width so they will fit perfectly right there on the left side. And that's just going to add some interest, some color, and kind of break up the pattern paper on the left. I'm going to go through the stickers and the die cuts and figure out a couple of the things that I want to use and I'm going to break up the left side. So I have this one strip that is a border of books. I have one that is a border of pencils. The middle one is this kind of like red composition pattern and I'm going to place that in the middle and then that red composition pattern is going to hold some die cuts and it's also going to hold the title piece which is going to be the die cut right there that you can kind of see on the left side. So <laughs> the title of this page is prepare to be schooled. And I mean that in both, both ways. Um, so it's kind of um, a play on words and I think it is perfect for my journaling. I'm going to add this little like, um, what is that called? A microscope. <laughs> And I'm going to add a, a pair of scissors up to the top. I'm going to add this cute little banner. This is just the last bit of this banner from the sticker sheet. And I thought it would be a good landing place for some of the free stickers that were on the sticker sheet too. I popped up the prepared to be schooled on some foam tape. Now, for those of you that might not know, the um, one of the slang terms for getting schooled is when you kind of learn your lesson or um, come up against a really uh, hard truth. And uh, yep, that's what happened this year with the technology. So I'm going to go ahead. I am going to pop up my title right there with the microscope and the pair of scissors. And then the um, one of the journaling spots says it says school days and I don't really need the school days I wasn't into that but there is a little thing that says let's do this and I'm gonna go ahead and pop the books behind that and cover up the school days title I'm also gonna use this cell phone that says hello because part of my story is about the amount of time I spent on hold with the tech support people at my son's cyber school trying to figure out what on earth <laughs> why <laughs> nothing was working so that is going to be the story I'm going to tell I went ahead and added lots of little phrase stickers things that said virtual classroom um, teacher's pet because of course he is the teacher's pet this was the first year I did school with just him and I didn't have my oldest doing school as well I'm gonna grab some dotting around sequins from Spiegel mom scraps and this layout is done be sure to head down in the description box hop along with us today collect lots and lots of fun school inspiration and layout ideas 
And I would love to see it if you give this layout design a try. I've never done a layout that looks like this before, but it was super fun and I do really like how it came together. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.